The defense in the trial of former Broward County Deputy Scott Peterson has rested their case, with Peterson choosing not to testify. The primary defense used by Peterson is that the gunshot's echo made it difficult to pinpoint the shooter and that the county's radio system, which was known to work poorly in the region, made it impossible for him to hear other deputies' information. The dispatcher who coordinated the response, Samantha Oakley, testified that on the day of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting, deputies could not hear what each other were saying, and that the radio's tone was the equivalent of a busy signal. Additionally, she testified that calls made from inside the building were routed to Parkland's neighboring city of Coral Springs, and that the Coral Springs officers knew the shooter's location, but Broward deputies were never told. F. Peterson faces felony child neglect charges for failing to confront the shooter before they reached the third floor of the building, where six of the victims died. If convicted, he could technically be sentenced to nearly 100 years in prison, although a sentence of that length is unlikely.